today's video we are going to learn how to do the double crochet stitch. This is my sample that I've had going. We've got the single crochet down here and then the half double crochet. They were in previous videos. If you have missed those videos and want to learn those stitches there will be a link in the description box below the video and that will take you to the playlist and you can go and check them out as well. So we're going to turn our work around and we are going to make three chains. You can also do a standing double crochet but for the simplicity of learning we are going to stick to three chains to keep it simple. We're going to yarn over and we're going to go to the next stitch. This is our first one and that is the second one so we're going to go to the second stitch, going to go in, we're going to yarn over and pull through we've got three loops on our crochet hook we're going to yarn over and we're going to pull through two remember in the last lesson we pulled through three well, this one we're just going to pull through two so that last one there we're not going to pull through that one but we're going to yarn over and then pull through two yarn over go into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops so one and two try and make it one motion if you can if not you can do it separately yarn over and then pull through two let's try that again yarn over go into the next stitch go in yarn over and pull through a loop yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through two. I'm going to repeat. Re <laughs> We're going to repeat this all the way across. Yarn over, go into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And yarn over and pull through two loops. Without splitting your yarn. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, we've got three loops on our crochet hook, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. I'm up to my last stitch and I'm going to take that out. If you find that you can't find where the stitch, stitch is and it kind of disappears because you're not sure where to go leave your stitch marker in there and that will make it much easier for you especially if you're just learning so what I like to do instead of trying to jab it in that way I find that a little bit difficult so I just sort of grab my crochet hook, hook <laughs> words are not working today grab my crochet hook and then just grab that first loop and then the second one kind of disappears. I'm just turning this around so you can see it. See this loop here? That's the one that you want. Get on there. And then we're going to complete the stitch. Going to turn our work around and we're going to work a chain three. What I'm going to do is put my stitch marker in there because I totally forgot to do it last time. So in the third chain we did, so not the one that's on the crochet hook, the one below, we are going to put our... Uh, what is wrong with my brain today? <laughs> we are going to put our... What is it? A stitch marker into that chain. I think my brain is still in bed. <laughs> So we're going to yarn over and we're going to find the next stitch. So the first stitch is, see the chain that's coming down and it's almost looks like it's coming out of this hole there. It's kind of like onto the side but it's coming out of that hole. That is your first stitch. We're going to skip that one and we're going to go to the second one. I've yarned over already if I haven't said that. I'm going to go into the stitch. I'm going to go yarn over, pull through. yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And as you can see I didn't put my stitch marker on the other end. 
that's okay we can show you how to find it so we're going to repeat our double crochet stitch all the way across like I said this is known as a treble stitch in the UK Australia or New Zealand so here it might look like we've only got one stitch left if I kind of like squash that down it looks like this one stitch there doesn't it well there's not there's two because we need to crochet into the chain three that we did at the beginning of the previous row so if I just grab that chain and pull it across like that you can see it will stay there there is a where's my little pointy stick gone there is a stitch here but there's also a stitch that we have to put in there as well because if we only go into that one our project is going to start getting smaller and we'll lose a stitch every row and if you've ever made anything so if you're if you've done cro double crochet before or any stitch really and your project's got smaller and smaller as you go and it looks like a weird shaped triangle because you've missed that last stitch so we're going to go into that one there and we're going to work our double crochet did I do that properly let's try again it didn't feel right but maybe it was so we've got our chain here and if you count the chains remember how we did three you've got one two and three so we're going to grab the first loop at the front don't pull too tight otherwise the back loop will disappear now I'm trying to find it let's try this again <laughs> oh there we go so we're going to go and grab this loop Is it because the camera's turned on? I'm going to grab hold of that back loop so it doesn't disappear. I'm making this way harder than it should be. <laughs> grab that first loop. I'm having trouble with this yarn splitting. I think it's because I've reused it. And then the back loop as well. If you struggle finding two loops, just go through one. Just for your practice. And then as you get... Ugh, I didn't yarn over as you get uh, what's the word more practice you can find your stitches easier because you know exactly what you're looking at when you first start to learn I'm like going to the stitch and my, my students are what is a stitch <laughs> it all looks like spaghetti all right so that's the double crochet let's do one more row so chain three turn our work I am going to remember to put a stitch marker in so remember it's not the loop that's on our crochet hook it's the one below what's going on I think it's a full moon at the moment so maybe that's why I'm just not having any luck <laughs> oh dear so yarn over go into the next stitch so not the first one because we've done our chain three and that counts as a stitch into this one here and and complete your double crochet and we're going to double crochet all the way across see so, see how that tension's loose I can't get my stitches to work because my tension's loose so I'm just gonna pull the yarn that was here I just pulled on that and that makes that tension a bit better and it's easier just to grab your yarn tension will come naturally but it is a little bit of a pain when you're first starting because you're not sure how to hold your yarn or your crochet hook or anything so it does get better with practice so how long have you been crocheting for a day, a week, a couple of weeks, a couple of months. I'd love to know. I have crocheted for 20 years. So it's very exciting. And we've got our last stitch here because we marked it. I'm going to take that out. If not, you can just crochet directly into where you've marked it. 
but I'm going to grab that loop at the back so it does not disappear. Oof. Like I said, if you cannot get that second loop, just go for one. It is going to make a hole a bit bigger, then that's why I like to go through two. But like I said, if you're just practicing, it's not going to matter too much until you know exactly what you're looking at. There we go. So we've got our double crochet stitch. Looks different to the stitches below. So from here, so one, two, three rows of double crochet. And then I've got, I think I did three rows of half double crochet, which are just there. And then single crochet. You can definitely tell the single crochet, can't you? It's kind of like little squares. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you've learnt some stitches. So you've learnt your single crochet, your half double crochet, and your double crochet stitches. These are great stitches to learn and are going to be used in lots of patterns. I'll list some videos below that use these stitches and are beginner friendly so you don't get too overwhelmed. Have a look in the description box. It's always below the video of any video, not just mine, but any videos that you watch, they are down there. So go and check those out if you like. Please subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Please subs oh, words. Come on, come on, come on. Get with it. Please consider subscribing if you have enjoyed this video. I would love a thumbs up. It makes the algorithm think that people want to watch my videos, so it does help me out and helps me pay the bills, to be honest. So it's a little thing that you can do for free which will help me out. If you're interested in these crochet hooks, I will put a link for you in the description box as well. These crochet hooks are great and super budget friendly and they come in a kit. And I have a video review. I'll pop that in the link for you as well. Thanks for watching guys. Till next time. Happy crochet.